Zara Sultana. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. When the pandemic first hit, the government brought back an old phrase, we're all in it together, they said. But that's not how it's turned out. A report published today by Oxfam shows that the 10 richest individuals in the world have seen their wealth rise by more than £400 billion since March. Friends and donors of the party opposite have been handed out fortunes in deeply questionable COVID contracts. And private companies have seen it as an opportunity to open up the NHS to further privatisation. But the vast majority of the public, more than 750,000 jobs lost, 6 million families now on universal credit. In poorer working class communities, people are at twice the risk of dying from COVID compared to those in the richest, and BAME communities are at between 10% and 50% higher risk of dying. Just like when the greed of bankers caused a financial crisis and the working class paid with a decade of austerity, here again, the working class is being hit the hardest by a crisis not of their making. This is the background to the government's plans. Forcing councils to raise council tax to help plug the gap of £15 billion cut from central government funds in the last decade. It's a move that could mean nearly a rise of nearly £100 on average for bandy households, breaking the government's promise to, and I quote, to do what is necessary to support councils. And it doesn't stop there. It's in addition to the government's plans to cut universal credit by £1,000 a year, its plan to rip up workers' rights, endangering everything from holiday pay entitlement to the 48-hour working week, the corners the government has already cut on free school meals, and the cruel public sector pay freeze that it has forced on key workers, even as the labour is what is getting us through this crisis. Madam Deputy Speaker, before the pandemic hit, Britain was rigged. Rigged in the interests of the rich and the powerful by a Tory party funded by the rich and the powerful. That rigged society has meant that this pandemic has hit much harder than it needed to. Workers who can't afford to self-isolate, families who are crammed into overcrowded housing, services privatised and run for profit, not public health. And now the highest death toll in Europe the worst death rate in the world, the deepest recession of any major economy. There should be no going back to that. So far from council tax rises for ordinary people or freezing pay for key workers, we should instead crack down on the £90 billion dodged in tax every year, making the super rich and big businesses pay their fair share and giving key workers the pay rise they deserve, councils the funding they need and our public services, the resources to serve us all. Thank you.